Hong Kong is unique. It is a global trade and financial center and one of the world's busiest ports. There are more people here per square meter than anywhere else on earth. But surrounded by all this human activity, there are a variety of coastal ecosystems. Rocky shores, mangroves, oyster beds and sandy beaches. These ecosystems provide services to the people of Hong Kong, such as leisure, fishing and agriculture, and create the unique character of our city. These ecosystems also support an incredible wealth of marine biodiversity. Even though the area of our seas is less than 1% of that of China's, 6,000 marine species, more than 25% of all those found in China, live here in Hong Kong. And we are still discovering new species. To study Hong Kong's coastal ecosystems, the Swar Institute of Marine Science was founded in 1990 and newly expanded in 2021. We have 14 researchers and teaching staff and over 70 postdoctoral and postgraduate students from more than 20 countries who study a wide range of disciplines, such as ecology, physiology, molecular biology, earth science, chemistry and climate change, all working together in the same place. SWIMS is based in Hong Kong's only marine reserve, Cape Dagler, on the south of Hong Kong Island. And many of our researchers also live here, in one of Hong Kong's most spectacular locations, with their research sites right outside their front doorsteps. Hong Kong is a perfect place for marine research. It is a natural laboratory where, within a small area, we can study global environmental problems because Hong Kong has a unique variety of natural gradients and transitions. We have a strong seasonal gradient with very hot and wet tropical summers and cool, dry, temperate winters. We study how intertidal animals such as snails and limpets cope with this transition, especially how they survive the extremely high summer temperatures on rocky shores. As global temperatures continue to rise, this knowledge will be vital to understand the effects of climate change on marine biodiversity. Hong Kong also has gradients of different water quality, turbid estuarine waters from the Pearl River to the west, and clear oceanic waters on the east coast. Highly urbanized and densely populated Hong Kong is also a perfect location to learn about human impacts on coastal ecosystems. Plastic pollution is a global environmental problem and we are working in Hong Kong mangrove forests to estimate how plastic is retained in soil and water and how it is broken down into microplastic particles that are then eaten by local species such as crabs and enter the food chain. The environment we can see in today's Hong Kong is the result of thousands of years of continuous human activity which has changed Hong Kong's original ecosystems. At SWIMS, we are now learning how to restore ecosystems that have been damaged or lost. Together with local oyster growers, we are working to bring back oyster reefs that once provided livelihoods for thousands of people and sustained great biodiversity. In Hoi Ha Marine Park, we are already restoring Hong Kong's coral communities that once sustained a thriving fishery. What is truly remarkable is that in the global modern city that Hong Kong is, we still don't know the full extent and importance of our biodiversity. We don't know exactly how many species we have and how these species help provide a sustainable environment for us to live in. For this reason, documenting our marine biodiversity is one of SWIM's primary goals. One project, Marine Geo, is part of a worldwide collaboration. Here we place artificial structures on the seabed around Hong Kong to allow marine organisms, worms, crabs, fish, snails and bacteria to colonize. A few months later, we take the structures out and we measure, with the help of advanced DNA techniques, just how many species we have in that area. Knowing this fundamental information is vital. Every species has a role in an ecosystem and losing species, like taking bricks out of a wall one by one, can lead to ecosystem collapse that will have consequences for us all, as we all rely on the natural ecosystems that surround us. Our seas and oceans are now critically threatened, endangering the livelihoods of billions of people worldwide. The research we do at SWIMS goes far beyond learning about Hong Kong's own seas and coasts and keeping Hong Kong a unique biodiversity hotspot. The knowledge we gain at SWIMS helps us understand and find solutions to climate change pollution and biodiversity loss that affect our entire planet and which can only be solved by all of us working together to find local solutions to global problems.